So this is a video that I actually did about a week ago, but it was deleted by yours truly. So I am now recreating it. And the topic of the day is what are the three biggest fixes that I found when you feel overwhelmed by life? When you get that feeling that things are moving way too fast for you, uh, life is constantly happening and everything is changing around you and you just you can't keep up keep up you can't you don't have a chance to think to sit down like overwhelm 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 uh, like you're going down the river and you have no idea how to stop or how to navigate it so people come up to me with the, the question of how do I solve it and they usually mean like pretty much all the time they mean how do I change my thinking like how do I practice uh, my schedule better how do I uh, manage my time better you know I think this is the solution but I always actually take them to the physiology first before the mental level because for most people the problem is not in the head it's actually in the body so imagine your brain is literally an extension of your body and not only that but your brain is actually in your body like people think that the brain is just this organ on the head your brain is actually connected and encapsulated in all parts of your body so your body is, it would be more accurate even scientifically to think about your brain as your body as your brain obviously concentrated in the head but but spread out throughout the body as well and i really don't get the people that just think you know it's all in the head man you know just it, it's about the mind just think just if you think properly it's going to work it's you should you know if you're tired just just change your thinking or something like these people have never read history like they don't realize that in, in in Soviet Russia in the 40 some million people that got interrogated uh, by the 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 police there that were trying basically to incriminate them to make them sign papers admitting to treason and going against mother Russia uh, to be shot and put in jail for anywhere between 5 to 25 years in starvation what they did, they tortured these people and they tortured them in so many different methods. But the one thing that was consistent in all these 40 some million tortures was this. They did not let these people sleep. They didn't let them sleep for days and weeks. So all these people that say, you know, the brain is all matters. What they fail you to realize is that your brain, it's not really like the rational part of you. That's the least developed part. That's the least fundamental part in our brain because it's the least old part. The older the part of your brain is, the more power it has to override the other parts. And for example, a person who's not fed, a person who did not eat anything for a few days, that person will have a very very tough time being rational because the brain overrides the rational part the prefrontal cortex in order to get immediate food so where am i going with this i don't necessarily contend that all feelings of being overwhelmed are due to physiology only but i would contend that the vast majority almost all of them are uh, caused by physiology so it's not a problem of thinking or just bad time management or scheduling it's literally just your body physiologically is not getting what it needs and is not functioning properly you're not able to think properly and uh, that's why you feel overwhelmed now of course I'm not talking about crisis situations I'm talking about life you know assuming there's no crisis currently happening you should not feel overwhelmed no matter how 
crazy your life is because you should always again the feeling is caused by the lack of the ability to think properly which happens only either in a crisis if you or if you have brain impairment which you probably don't or if your physiology is fucked up because you're not properly taking care of your body so what are the three biggest things that uh, fix this problem so every time somebody comes up to me again I change their mind I tell them you know forget about the time management forget about the scheduling and do the three things that I'm going to tell you now and you're immediately going to see a massive massive improvement and the feeling is going to be you know it's going to disappear so the first thing is simple every person that tells me that they're feeling overwhelmed I always ask them this one question how much time do you sleep on average and the answer is always about six hours five six hours and even if it's seven it's it's not really seven it's what's it's a dirty seven because it's like six six and a bit plus like half an hour of sleep so it's basically rounding the numbers uh, against yourself I tell every single person that you know just for three four days do whatever it takes to get eight hours of sleep and there's no such thing as I can't you just do it <laughs> and and some sometimes people ask me wait but how is it that there's people who you know they sleep four or five six hours and they're still successful um, I explain them look they're successful in spite of not sleeping enough not because they don't sleep enough like yeah okay you get an extra fucking yeah hour two hours in the day great but what about the fact that you lose brain capacity you lose your ability to think clearly when you don't sleep well your cortisol goes up you you're under stress never mind that I'm not gonna get into that argument but the the idea is first of all fix your sleep so even for just three four days sleep eight hours uh, properly quality sleep you know in the dark without too much noise use uh, kind of like eye uh, blankets if you need so that you don't you know see light and that's the first thing second thing is in terms of diet <clears throat> most people have really really shitty diets and I found that it's better to put in good foods rather than try to get out bad foods like it's always better in, in life to create a good habit than to focus on removing a bad habit now I'm not talking about like heroin addiction or something I'm talking about you know being lazy or porn addictions or any anything of that sort the best way to replace it is by putting in something else that is good so what I want you to do is to again and this is an experiment and be honest be you know be a person of, of, of integrity and if you are feeling overwhelmed just try what I'm saying for four days if it doesn't work drop it because but if it does it's worth it's worth the world <laughs> if you can stop feeling overwhelmed and be able to think clearly again so what I want you to do is to start drinking a fruit shake every day as in the morning would be the best like before any before anything before eating anything just drink a fruit shake either make one or just buy one and ask for as many fruits as, as possible so what I like to do is I go up to the you know the the person that makes the fruit shakes and I ask like can you put everything and they always give you like that weird look like oh it won't fit so you just tell them look just put small pieces <laughs> until it and just make it fit um, or they sell you know it's not gonna be tasty it's not gonna be good it's, it's just tell them it's okay trust me and and by the way let me tell you it's gonna be delicious like a fruit shake with all the fruits it literally just tastes super sweet like there's no not like a specific taste it just tastes really good and never got why people say it's not good I never ever talk never ever had somebody who did not like you know I give them to try and they didn't like drinking a fruit shake with like 12 different fruits and also I want you to drink a vegetable juice because both of them are important now if you don't want to do those things then do this a minimum of two fruits and a minimum of two vegetables every day different vegetables and different fruits but 
if you can do the shakes thing, that would be like maximum benefit. What would happen is you'd feel a lot more uh, energetic. You'd feel a lot less hungry. You have, you'll have this clean energy of clear thinking and it doesn't go up and down all the time. It's just very consistent. And also fruit and vegetable shakes are delicious. So, you know, no problem there. Uh, the vegetable juice, if it's not tasty enough, I would recommend putting in two bananas. The cool thing about bananas is that they completely overtake the taste. So if you put two bananas, it doesn't matter if you put in like all the, you know, grossest green vegetables, uh, you just won't taste them. So you get the benefits, but you don't get the taste, which, you know, it's like kind of like getting kicked in the face by a horse. Okay. Uh, that's the second one. Now, the third and final tip is regarding exercise. So I have, uh, you know, people that came up to me and told me, again, about feeling overwhelmed and asked them, do you exercise? And they say, yes. So I say, okay, what do you do? Uh, so they sell something like, oh, I dance. Um, but, but dancing is not what I consider exercise. Obviously, it does fall under that definition. And, you know, it is physical exertion. And you might even be Know, really sweaty and tired afterwards but the type of exertion that I mean is the type where you actually take your body to a certain limit because dancing for example is an activity where you're always kind of a bit fatigued but you never actually reach a point where like you can't take it anymore you know it's like you reach a limit so limit type exercises that's what I mean like lifting really heavy weights and kind of reaching the limit of what strength you can create or running on a treadmill and just really killing yourself on the treadmill. So any kind of limit type of exercise activity uh, will greatly increase your energy. Like whatever time you spend in the gym, you're going to get back like four or five fold that time in energy. <laughs> and, you know, it doesn't matter clock time. Like it doesn't matter if you work four hours or one hour. What matters is how much you got done. And the higher your energy, the clearer your thinking, the more you get done in less time. So again, the hour in the gym is worth to you like three, four hours of concentration time on whatever, you know, it could be work, relationships. You're just going to get back that time in energy um, quadrupled. So these are the three things that I'd like you to do. So try them for four days, five days, maybe a week. And by the second day, you'll already feel immense benefits. Now, every single person I told to do this, not only did the problem of feeling overwhelmed go away, but they actually began to think a lot more clearly. They began to have a much better mood. Everything just started getting better. You know, so they started seeing colors more vividly. It's, it's such a huge shift when you fix your physiology and... At that point, now that your thinking actually works, now you can actually start working on time management and scheduling. So again, the people, that's the problem. They work on these things before they fix the physiology. That's like having a car with a semi-broken engine that can barely drive and focusing on, you know, is my map good? <laughs> is the map correct? Like, fuck the map. If you can't drive properly, it doesn't matter what, which map you're going to use or which style of driving, whatever. Like, no, fix the fucking physiology. And, and, and the, the benefits are so immense. Like, it feels so fucking good. I'm sorry I'm cursing so much. I'm just really passionate about this. It, it is incredible. It is incredible what happens when you... Uh, realize that your problems, you know, you thought like your brain is broken, you, and it is, it is, but, but not in the way that you think it is. So you, you think, you know, you have a problem, it's your personality, you're just not using the right practical advice, you can't read properly, you have problems, and then you fix the physiology, you know, you sleep well, you exercise, you, you get a lot more fruits and vegetables, you eat less shit, you know, less sugar, less refined things, it, it, suddenly you think clearly, you don't feel overwhelmed anymore, and, you know, life moves on and, and everything changes, but you always feel like you're on top of things. You always feel like you can at any moment just just decide to think and, and strategize and, and make plans, and it's so 
like a breath of fresh air. And I'm, I'm so passionate about this because I've been there. Like I've literally spent months, maybe years of my life early on thinking of, there's something wrong with me, thinking like my mood problems, the fact that my moods were constantly like, like, like getting hit and, and the lack of energy and the inability to sit down and write like a freaking person, like I could not do it. And once I fixed the food, I started working out, I started sleeping, which again, sleeping is the biggest one, by the way. Uh, I could do all those things, like my attention span returned. And, um, and now when you learn the tools, now when you learn time management and scheduling, you know, stuff like that, uh, now it's actually like super, super effective. Um, yeah, so that's the message. That's the message today. Uh, really hope you'll actually do it. Sleeping is the most important. The second is actually diet. And the third is the uh, workout. You know, I would I'd even say the second and third are equal. But sleep, man, you got to sleep. Just fucking sleep. Like, I know, I know. People sleep six hours and they're successful. People sleep four hours and they're successful. I know. Okay. Fuck that, okay? You are not currently there, okay? Start sleeping eight hours because you're going to function properly. And then from that place of sleeping eight hours and being able to think, now you can actually strategize how to, you know, do your experiments and sleep less. Sure, but but start with fixing your thinking, your brain. You know, saying you want to sleep four, five, six hours and do that really productively that's not an excuse to basically neglect sleep and not be productive. So that's my message for you today. Uh, I know this video sounded a bit like the beginning of me selling some sort of a fitness, wellness, health course. Uh, but I'm not there yet. I don't think I'll ever be. So thanks for listening. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the links below to find out more about me. And hope you the best. See you soon.